going to 151 pages.
you need to click on the A and make sure that you are on the scrolling view. Can you see this thing, scrolling view? Select to enable it. The reason will be obvious to you later on. Okay, why we select the scrolling view. Okay, and then with that, I will hand over the rest of the time for Jimmy to bring you through some of the simulations and the curriculum that we have developed for gravity. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, Jimmy uh, from Issue JC. So basically, my students are uh, pretty good in gravitation. So this is something that will bring uh, learning alive. So what I did with my class just Basically, this is an ebook that I introduced to my cohort. They are free to download it if they are uh, phone uh, uh, or iPad. So in the I, I use this for demonstration lectures. So for example, uh, okay, this one. Uh, the whole ebook is designed in such a way that it is aligned with my lecture notes. So my students uh, go through lecture example. Okay, this is a very standard uh, A-level question. Okay, um, but the power of ebook is that it makes the whole question come alive. So they can uh, visit this uh, ebook at home, and then the simulation allows them to play and watch the motion of the two planets. Okay. We can look for this under uh, page 36. Page 36. Yeah. Okay, you might be a bit confused. Huh? Some of the pictures are pictures. Some uh, are simulations. Okay. So, so the, the, the way, okay, so I like told Jimmy, but I put a jump in there as and when I put it possible. Okay, now we have changed the pictures to only have pictures. In other words, you will not see any of these buttons that look like you can press on it. So pictures will be pictures. Like I said, we try this out with real students and real teachers. The feedback has been taken and we, we find a new ebook now. So you want to have the problem that Jimmy mentioned uh, that they look identical. Or you just look for things that have buttons. Those are the things. So this shows the uh, motions of the uh, two masses. Uh, they're having a common center of rotation. Um, another powerful feature about this simulation is that they have the flexibility to change the scenario. For example, you click on the left bottom, drop, drop down, or drop down, or drop up. So you can select uh, the other scenario. What happens if I have a masses? So there are different masses. Okay, how would the motion look like? So instead of a, of a 2D static picture, now it comes to life. For teachers, I think it's easier to visualize. For students, they may not find it easy. Okay, next thing. Okay, there are many other simulations, but I just jumped to the one that I find most useful. Um, to 
try out different formulas and see how, how we grow up the line. So you can actually uh, key the formulas over here. Okay, or they are already predefined uh, formulas. So for example, uh, 6 for 6, 7 is G, right? So G M over R squared. What happens if it's a G M over R squared equation? How would the graph look like? If you click on this. The blue color represents the model graph. So you can see that it is not this equation. If you can try and look at the different graphs. So the whole idea is for them to explore on their own. So try out different equations and learn the concepts. So firstly, I use it for demo. Uh, secondly, I let them download the ebook and try out at home. Thirdly, uh, we try to encourage them to try out the modeling feature. But to be very frank, the modeling feature is not something easy. Uh, firstly, the student must know the concept of permutation. Secondly, they must be able to understand the computer language. Yeah. And thirdly, linking this to the concept. So uh, for YJ, uh, um, I didn't um, roll this out to my own format because I don't think everybody can understand this. So uh, I will try with my uh, the, the talk students. Okay. It's something to stretch them further, to deepen their concept. So if I understand. Everyone gets an iPad. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, they don't get an iPad. Yeah, if they have an iPad, they can download it. If not, they use their uh, smartphone. You just have to download the. Uh, okay, if I'm using an Android, I think you need to download the. iPhone is okay. iPhone is fine. You can download the, 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 the into your iPhone. Okay, you can access. You can even play simulations on your iPhone. So it's something that you can uh, learn on your own, on MRT, whatever. What about students who don't have smartphones? Ah, correct. If students don't have a smartphone, uh, they can still play this on their laptop. Uh, gravity. Gravity. Yeah, under ego gravity. Okay, last time maybe I'll show you more of the cooler simulation that I, I like and my student will like.
Basically, uh, I also use this in the lecture uh, by getting them to fill out an incredible sheet. Uh, what I did was, I have, if, if I'm able to click on this, I don't know, maybe it will be a few different, different different types of scenario. So some of the scenarios, the scenarios they are showing uh, satellites that are not joint stationary. Some are, some are not. So I wonder to uh, reason whether it is, whether it is not, and why is it not. For instance, one of the satellite is much nearer to Earth. So in that case, the period will be much shorter. Then you will not be staying above the same point of Earth or the moon. 